So, if I asked you who is the best legend in Apex Legends, a lot of you would say Wraith, Octane, or Horizon. And that's exactly why in this video, I'll be testing all three of them and ranking them on my tier list of the best legends in Apex. But ranking them won't be easy, as in today's video, I dropped a 20 kill game, as well as a couple of 4k damage rounds as well. Okay, look, it's it's basically a 4k, right? Right? No. Today's first contestant was Wraith, as suggested by Sage, who said Wraith so sweetie and balanced. But is Wraith really a sweetie, or will she leave a sour taste in my mouth? <laughs> Sorry, I tried a pun. <laughs> it was bad. If you're a Wraith hater, then leave your favourite legend in the comments for me to try in the next episode, which I'll upload if this video hits 4,000 likes. Speaking of Wraith haters, Pathfinder definitely hated me for pulling off from his jump zone. I know teammate is absolutely fuming right now. Good one, Wraith. Now, amongst all the action, you might have noticed that my trusty little console brain friend isn't talking today. That's because when we recorded this video, his parents were asleep. Please subscribe so we can find him some new parents. My hyper-aggressive Wraith impression continued as I led the team into Stasis Array. Has anyone ever actually used this POI's name before? It's kind of long. And waiting there for us was a welcoming party of roughly, I'd say, like, the whole lobby. In the middle of the action, our Pathfinder had shown me the real way to cosplay as Wraith and left us as two. Luckily though, there were still plenty of players in the lobby who wanted to come play with us. Just not in the same way. Different team. Go inside if you can. After realising we were low on supplies and surrounded by stacked enemies, we retreated into Promenade, where we would be totally safe, because no fighting ever happens there, right? Uh... I'll fight this team here instead, because I don't have a lot of ammo, we have to get them killed. Two blue armors. One's cracked. Two blue slip, we're going behind them. We're in here. They're out. They've gone round. Use the walls, use the walls. Two teams, stay in there, stay in there. Take this. I'm just doing great things. The other team's still up. They're getting shot on the back now. Come back. Zone. That's a Watson too. Watson nearly cracked. Another team. This is a duo and it's they're both red armor. I've got to kill him. He's dead. Land, land down. 100. Push him, push him, push him. He's dead. Swapping. Last team. Last team. That 
wasn't close at all. As we rotated into the zone, I realised even if my friend wasn't talking, at least I had Seer to keep me company. What is Seer chatting about? But it wasn't long before the final enemy team came in to keep me company, and little did we know, they were pretty, pretty weird. I'm gonna keep it real. And so, after two minutes of them poking their sentinel into my personal space, please stop. I took a bow check and made them pay for their crimes. <laughs> Ignore that. Destroying that pad. Pushing up to your left. Newcastle, crack. I'm 1 HP, I'm 1 HP. Queuing. Still. You did so well there, man. You did so well. GG. GG. So, when it comes to rating Wraith, I'd give her a 4 out of 5 for personal utility, and also for team utility, and also for overall fun. I think she's great for fast-paced players, but the face feels a little bit slow to activate, and her passive... Let's be honest, her passive is actually pointless. A legend whose passive does work though is Horizon, and thanks to Limited, I flew into game 2 with her and wasn't even bothered by the fact that I had no teammates. It's not like Horizon needs teammates. No, don't do it! No! Knowing there was now a third party in the building, I slipped away and restocked before making myself at home in Skyhook Streamer building. Unfortunately though, my noisy neighbours across the street had different plans and wanted a taste of Horizon Tagus. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds so bad. With my life's goal of destroying a Lobo in the back complete, yeah, okay, look, I'm gonna stop now. It's time to stop! I left Skyhook a happy horizon, and not just because of my 7 kills, I also found an R301 with a 3x. Now you may notice that my R301 has no skin in this episode, and there's actually a good reason for that. A recent study by Moki Sniper concluded that the most consistent ratio of high damage sprays with the R301 comes from people who don't use a skin on it. This could be for multiple reasons, but the one overarching fact is that I completely made up this story just to progress the narrative of this video. Listen, I'm sorry for the bait, but 
but Horizon is an annoying legend, and in this game I made it my mission to be as annoying as possible to as many people as possible. One team dead because I shot them in the back, and the other with a man down. My work here being annoying is done. After crafting some ammo and watching the local wildlife roaming the outlands. Okay. My appetite to irritate had returned, so when the Ash revived her fallen friends, I knew what was on the menu. Now being the big brained controller player that I am, I ran through the tunnel and queued up onto height, looking to cut them off, until I realised that we just ran straight into each other. Whoa, okay, okay, see ya, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please stop blowing my brains out. The lifeline of Fuse had swung around the mountain, but it was fine. I'd just rotate round and finish- Oh. Oh no. That's right, Simply Ashton, content creator, apex predator, the man who does this for a living, had been outplayed by a no-skin lifeline. And so with one final effort, I took a couple of heat shields, dived into the ring, and instantly died. Oh, but look how happy they are about winning, like shaking their screens and stuff. That's cute. I'm kind of happy they won, to be fair. Overall, Horizon comes out with a 5 out of 5 for personal utility, a 4 out of 5 for team utility, and a 5 out of 5 for overall fun, leaving her comfortably at the top of the table for now and something tells me she'll be hard to beat but that's when our challenger steps in enter octane as suggested by rockieri wow try saying that three times fast rockieri 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 that's yeah, not fun but you know what is fun landing on purple armor and a vault Oh, behind me. He's one. Die. 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 <laughs> Why are you running this to? No, not like this. You don't do this. You don't do this. No. Instead of hanging around to join Lifeline's game of hide and seek, we left her alone, probably hiding in a cupboard or something, and ventured more towards the middle of the map where I definitely didn't get bamboozled. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, one HP. Ah! On my door, on my door, on my door, on my door. After somehow winning the 1v1 with Bang, I was feeling electric. It's 
it's a Watson bun. But I was still left to find out that this game still had a few twists and turns left in it yet. The same lifeline that ran away earlier. Leaves. He left the game. Can we get an F in the comments for Lifeline? Because this is not the type of pub game she signed up for. With three squads left though, and 15 kills, it was exactly the type of game I signed up for. And even though the last two teams started to fight, I knew that if there was any legend who could get there in time to clean up, it was Oxane. Yeah. There we go, baby! What a game! Octane's overall scores come in with a 5 out of 5 for personal utility, a 3 out of 5 for team utility, but a 5 out of 5 for overall fun, making him the second highest legend on this list. I think he just falls short of Horizon because she just offers a tiny little bit more to the team overall, while Octane's kit is mostly self-centered. If you enjoyed this video, then YouTube thinks you'll also enjoy the one on screen now, and don't forget to subscribe!